Tech. Okay, so now forget we're still in the zone, and right now I'm about to chat to an interior designer. Let's welcome Kyle. Welcome to H9. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So now tell me, how did you get into interior designing, and what made you fall in love with interior designing? Uh, well, simply I've always loved Lego, and it started off there when I was a kid. Through that, I was taken on a journey where I fell in love with structure. And then with that, I realized that there's more to a building. And that's when I fell in love with the interior. And during the course, you learn how to build structures like this, right? Yes. And doing moon boards. Yeah, uh, a lot of it is practical. The theory comes across with the history and the build up and just understanding about it. Um, then we come across with the building aspects, such as the roofing, the foundation. And then with that, the design comes on the interior, how everything's placed how people work, think, and the emotion that it gives off. So what different zones should you be aware of when you work in a space like the bedroom? Mm. Like, should the bed be facing the window? Um, or it must yeah. be the bed be next to the door? Well, it all comes down to personal preference. Um, but the fact of the matter is it needs to be a place that is functional. Mm. Uh, first comes function, then comes beauty. If you can combine the two, then that is perfect. Um, just always keep in mind how you sleep most comfortably. So for instance, when you're lying on your bed, you need to be able to see everything. It needs to be a focal point. I'm trying to and think now, where is my bed, fa bed facing? Sorry, <laughs> well, mine's facing my door, my bathroom, and my table. Where's my bed facing? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> you know, most of us can't really afford interior designers because yeah. some of them are a bit costly. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, what's the best option to go for if you want to make your living space magical? Um, well, it all comes down to the small little things. Uh, what you're passionate about, everyone has a creative side. If you don't, then pursue it and try and find what that is. It comes down to the small little things that liven up your room. If you're passionate about art, fill up your wall, use headboards, look at your windows, see uh, what you can improve, like blinders. And, and really, that you can do that yourself, but when it comes to the big structure and something to link up with the client, that's when we step in. Mm. And, and I know now there's a new um, design style called Feng Shui. Yeah. What is it exactly? Uh, feng Shui means um, water and wind. It is an ancient Chinese practice and it gained its popularity in 1970 in the West due to the fact that the West wanted to adopt different cultures and experiment with that, such as yoga and all of that. And basically it practices positive and negative qi. Um, providing positive chi within an environment, um, sustaining, motivating you through little key elements such as water. Water is a resemble of wealth and the flow of energy. So using things like that, surrounding yourself, sorry, with things like that will enrich your life, which is basically their concept. And I know you brought along your, 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 your some mock-ups to inspire us to yes. make our bedroom a fantastical, magical place to be in. <laughs> So tell us. Well, uh, first of all, my, my opinion is different to the rest. Uh, I've always been a fan of dark tone with color, uh, not too bright. I don't want it to be too productive, the room, but I want it to be a calm and sensible place. Now for a person, really, if your walls are already painted, that means it's already been water sealed. So really all you need is a color. Find a color that you like and match that up with a primary color or secondary color in your room. Change your beds bed sheets, use different pillows, different proportions. Um, you'll be surprised what you can even do with a, um, a washing basket. Don't try and hide it away. Make it appealing. Make it like a wooden box or something. So yeah. All right, thanks a lot, Carl. I've learned yeah, something. Awesome. I'll go back and check where's my bed facing because I still don't know where it's <laughs> facing. <laughs> Hectic.